I don't know if you've heard about it, but one of the most recent headlines is about the American tourist that is facing a possibility of up to 12 years in prison after they found ammunition in his carry-on bag. So I just want to preface this by saying one of the first places you should go to before you even book your international flight is you need to go to travel.state.gov. And I've talked about this numerous times. It will really save you a lot of stress. You can know what to expect. On this website, you can get country information about local laws, how long your passport needs to be valid. It's not enough for your passport to expire like the next month like to just be valid. It has some countries require that your passport must be valid for a certain amount of time after your trip. So there's some countries that have a six month rule where the date you leave, your passport must be valid six months beyond that date. So they won't even let you on the flight. So you can save a lot of time. And I've showed this before, but I will show this uh, again on how to find this. Once you're on travel.state.gov, you're going to go to international travel and you can look up country information, go to the destination. And in this example, Turks and Caicos is what was in the news today. And as you can see, this is where I talk about the passport validity, but let's go on down to local laws. And let me zoom in so you can see it. It says here on local laws that firearms, ammunitions, and other weapons are not permitted in Turks and Caicos. And it even says there's penalties and include a minimum of 12 years. Unfortunately, there have been a few instances where people have been caught with ammunition in their luggage and they faced jail time. I think there was a man who faced like six, or he was in jail in Turks and Caicos for six months. And so now we have this case of an American couple. I believe the wife went to, was held for a little bit, but she was released. But the husband is definitely waiting to see what's going to happen with the uh, jail time. It's unfortunate that this happened and I've seen a lot of people say that they're going to boycott Turks and Caicos because this father is facing 12 years in prison and can miss some time spending with his children. I don't know if a lot of people paid attention to this law. It's gotten to the point where Turks and Caicos had to come out with a statement on Twitter that says, We urge all travelers to carefully check your luggage for stray ammunition or forgotten weapons before departing the U.S. Firearms, ammunition, including stray bullets and other weapons are not permitted in Turks and Caicos. I feel like if you own a gun, it's not like where you can travel. And it's not like when you're traveling in America, there's different rules. When you go out of the country, I feel like I would make sure I check everything especially if it's a bag I go hunting with, I would definitely triple check that. Like I'm always checking just even to make sure I don't have liquids in my carry-on, just making sure that's, so I would definitely have triple checked. But at the same time, 12 years is crazy. I can't even imagine that. But I was looking at Kenya again, just to see what that was like. Because I don't I know that there are, of course, gun laws, but I don't travel with a gun. So I glossed over it when I was going to Kenya. But I looked at Kenya, and Kenya even has, if you have ammunition, seven years. Kenya even has a local law about being drunk in public. If you're caught being drunk in public or intoxicated or just rowdy due to alcohol, you could potentially get fined. You could potentially face jail time. So You definitely need to understand the laws whenever you're going out of the country. I even do extensive research on if I can even bring my drone in the country because I don't want any issues when I'm traveling. So ultimately, my last trip, I ended up leaving my drone because there was so much red tape and 
I basically got the sense that Kenny is just like, just leave it at home. And I was glad I made that decision because of all the security checks I had to go through while I was traveling in Kenya just wasn't worth it. Definitely do your research when you are traveling so you can understand these things. Because I don't want to see you all on the news. And I make sure to look at travel.say.gov all the time. And that's where you go to check passport information. So if you're renewing your passport, all that. So it's a very great resource. I've been talking about it forever. You can check even to see when you renew your passport or get a new passport. You can see time frames, all that stuff. But the country information is very important. There's like news updates. So let's see if there's anything for Turks and Caicos. There's like alerts. This is interesting. I guess due to article making its way and this is not the first american that's gotten in trouble for bringing ammunition and or a gun over to turks and caicos but i guess it's gotten to the point where people didn't realize it could come with a minimum of 12 years which is crazy this is an alert that they put up there that states check your bags i'm actually surprised that they were able to get through tsa in the american airport with ammunition i think it said something like four rounds of ammunition that they got through they had the security alert they even had this in september i guess that's about the same time that someone else got an issue do not bring ammunition these are the alerts so i wanted to know your thoughts on this do you look up this information before you book a trip all right do you check for local laws before you go make sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel i post videos all the time about travel tips you can check out my latest videos on YouTube about my latest trip, which was to East Africa. And also you can make, so it's the same name on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, work hard, travel. So make sure you're subscribed. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching and be sure to like this wherever you're watching and share it out. I'll see you guys later. Bye.